Dove Zockheim's SPC Corporation provided the flight termination system and command transmitter system. Some people have posited that the planes that flew into the towers were remote controlled. Although sounding like science fiction to the average person, this technology has existed for several decades. In an emergency situation in which pilot and co-pilot have been incapacitated, ground control can take control of a plane and fly it safe and sound to its destination. The argument for the use of this technology would be to say that to ensure that the planes met their targets, instead of relying on some supposed suicide hijackers who might bail out at the last minute, remote control technology was used. We are not here to argue for this point, nor disagree with it, but it is more than telling that System Planning Corporation, or SPC, designs, manufactures, and distributes highly sophisticated technology that enables an operator to fly by remote control as many as eight different airborne vehicles at the same time from one position either on the ground or airborne. System Planning Corporation markets the technology to take over the controls of an airborne vehicle already in flight. For example, the flight termination system technology could hijack hijackers and bring the plane down safely. The flight termination system can be used in conjunction with the CTS technology that can control up to eight airborne vehicles simultaneously. Yeah, here's one of the guys who can tell you I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want to call, oh. call your mother or something? Oh, right now. Well, right. We've heard reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted. When you're down there, Dan, you hear smaller secondary explosions going off every 15 or 20 minutes. And every few minutes you'll hear like a small sort of a rumbling sound, almost like an explosion sound. I spoke with some police officials moments ago, Chris, and they told me that they have reason to believe that one of the explosions at the World Trade Center, aside from the ones that may have been caused by the impact of the plane with the building, may have been caused by a van that was parked in the building that may have had some type of explosive device in it. So their fear is that there may have been explosive devices planted either in the building or in the adjacent area. I believe that there was
was some sort of explosive device somewhere else besides the planes hitting. But he said that there was another explosion which took place, and then an hour after the first hit here, or the first crash that took place, he said, uh, there was another explosion that took place uh, in one of the towers here. Why? We uh, just saw that as well, the second tower, the only one that was standing, tower number one. Just, uh, we saw some kind of explosion, a lot of smoke come out of the top. No one can go in to get the people out. There's small explosions still going on. We just heard another explosion. They're handing out gloves and masks. The consensus is, it's too unsafe to go in there. We made it at least two blocks, and we started one. Floor by floor, it started popping out. It was it, was it, it, it had detonated. Yeah, it detonated. They were yeah. to take down a building. Floor by floor, it started popping out. It was it, was it, it had detonated. Yeah, it detonated. They were yeah. to take down a building. Boom, boom, boom. It detonated. They were to take down a building. Boom, boom, boom. It detonated. They were to take down a building. Boom, boom, boom.